Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to talk about macroevolution versus microevolution. What is the difference between microevolution and macroevolution? So let's talk about it. As the name suggests, microevolution work in a very miniature scale, small level, genetic level, while macroevolution is in a broader scale. So the very first thing is magnitude of change. The magnitude of change for macroevolution is a large scale change occurs above the species level. So the change is observed between the species where microevolution is where the change is only in the gene level. So the process stays a process is only understood in a single generation in, 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 in multiple generations, but in a single species. The cause of the micro and macro evolution. The cause of macro evolution is due to the micro evolution. And the cause of micro evolution is mainly due to mutation, natural selection, gene flow, genetic drift. Drift. Then we have evolutionary time frame. What is the evolutionary time frame for macro evolution? Macro evolution time frame is very long. Generally, the scale for macro evolution is counted as million years, while micro evolution occurs through several generations in a particular species. Then we have the study. How do you study micro and macro evolution? We study micro evolution by molecular experiment because we are looking at the changes in the DNA sequences. We can check the DNA fingerprinting. We can check the repetitive DNA sequences in the organism's genome. While macro evolution is based on fossil data. So that's all the difference between macroevolution and microevolution. If you like this video regarding microevolution and macroevolution, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.